Hey, it's Emily. How are you? Hey, Cher- Cheryl. Cheryl, yeah. Sherla? Oh, man. Ray. Mark. Hey, Mark. How are you? Hey, Posh Artwork. So forgive me, guys. I didn't. I realized I didn't have anything Copic available to use, so I'm just going to be doing line art tonight, but I haven't done a personal live stream in a while, and I kind of wanted to do that, so here we go. I was flipping through my sketchbooks. Hi! So glad you guys could make it. I was flipping through my sketchbooks thinking what to what to do, and I came across this. I did this like right at the end of October, and um, I did it right next to this one, and this one was pre-Inktober, and to see the difference between the two, it was like the fluidity of it within like a month. It was very inspiring, so I'm going to keep this one available, but I'm going to work on this one. This is one of my handmade books. This is actually a former Harry Potter book <laughs> that I then gutted and I made a text block of watercolor paper and glued it into the cover. So I now know how to make them from scratch so I don't have to murder books anymore, but yeah, regardless. All right, I do have some scratch paper here that I'm going to use to just double check, make sure my tips are all good. But yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Alz, Alz Demeter, 13, how are you? This pen is like super juicy right now, which is really great for broader strokes, but I'm gonna go with my Micron plastic nib for just the uh, the detail in the face first. Just off to soccer, awesome. Working on my final Christmas card before making copies. Oh, that sounds like fun. That's awesome. I've, I've never done Christmas cards. Like I've never sent out a Christmas card of my own husband and I to celebrate like last year was our first Christmas as husband and wife but we didn't do any pictures or anything like that and then my family was just never really kind of did it so but I think that's cool good I'm glad to hear it hopefully there's some excitement going on and if not that's okay A bunch of family wanted me to design some to sell. Ooh, oh, so they're ones you're selling. Oh, no, that's cool. You're on top of it because it is the holiday season. That's awesome. Hey, Jessica, you made it. So glad you could join. <laughs> Just doing line art today. <laughs> all right and I forget there's like a bunch of like little leaves and stuff that I put in her hair so I should probably go through and add those in otherwise I'll mess myself up but yeah I wanted to get a lot more holiday prep done but um I'm in the middle of a, pro of a couple of projects that right now that have some pretty urgent deadlines and I'm not going to be able to stock my shop as full as I wanted to. I have a couple of things in the works, but there won't be a whole lot for the holidays. So, but it'll be good. It'll still be good. Just finished baking a lot of cookies for pre-holiday dinner with my family. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's so cool. When is your holiday dinner with your family? That's right, Thanksgiving's coming up soon, isn't it? Gosh, it felt like it was still a ways off, and it's like, what, next week? Oh my gosh, it's probably next week. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Yeah, shows you how top, on top of things I am. This Saturday. Oh, fun! Oh, wow, then you must be making a lot, because to start prepping now instead of... Uh, in Saturday here. I'm actually going to zoom this in for you guys just a little bit. There we go. Jason, how are you? There won't be any Copic action tonight because I didn't have anything Copic ready, but that's okay. Actually... Sure. 
My, uh, my mom's birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year, so it's going to be interesting. Hey, Chris. I haven't seen you on my live streams before. How are you? Hey, Shan Shanae? Shanae, it, it's not pronounced that right. Kellogg, how are ya? If I do all this tedious line work in the beginning, then whenever I'm doing the flow, it won't get interrupted. I actually sent those emojis, no worries. <laughs> hey, Grind Creations. Hey, Farah. Water soluble. Um, this one will eventually have watercolor, but it's not going to have any water tonight. Maybe next week. Uh, hey, Jason, what's up with you? How's it going, Grand Creations? I forgot how chill it is doing live streams on my own channel. It's really nice. Thanks. It's good to see you, too. I realize I've actually been doing live streaming for a year now. I started doing live streaming. My first one was in October last year during Inktober. It's been like a year. Hey, Bun Bun Panda. How are you? Okay. And um, because I don't trust my hand with the zebra brush tip pen for this area of the face. There's just, there's certain areas I don't mind if the pen slips, you know, but then there's those ones where I'm like, nope, if this is gone, the whole thing's ruined. Back to purple <laughs> after a month of rabbits. <laughs> I know, isn't it, isn't, wasn't your, your theme called like the red squirrel and it was all rabbits. I was like, this, this is interesting. All right. But your rabbits were cute. Been working hard on live it and the streaming life. Cool. I might get back into Twitch at some point, but for right now, I've got too many, too many things that are a little bit more pressing, but I've got some pretty exciting stuff coming in December after my deadlines are done into the new year. I'm doing really well. Thank you. It's nice to be live streaming again. I've missed you guys. Jen, just doing art. The Red Squirrel has been picked up as a book. Oh, yay! I'm glad to hear that. That's awesome. Hey, Camo Kitty. Uh, Jason, do you know when your book is getting published? I keep hard hearing about Twitch. Gotta look into it. Don't know anything about it. It is basically, it's a platform specifically designed for just streaming. Um, and it's really great. A lot of gamers use it, but there's a lot of artists that are taking over in the community as well. So that's pretty good. You can do more live streams on your page. I love art snacks, but like a non prompt drawing is always amazing. I agree. I agree. Choco! How are you? I missed you too, Grind Creations. I just miss doing this. And it's. I, I love doing art snacks in 20. I love it so much. But it is nice to have like a bit of a smaller crowd. So I'm actually hoping to do my own live streams on Thursdays here on Instagram. Because I want to get back into it, and I really want to connect with you guys, and um, I want to do more of a regular thing. Oh, 2022. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Working with an author and with an agent? Or are you, are you, so is somebody writing it for you, or are you writing it? Hey, MJ. I almost did D&D &D art tonight, but I didn't. Um... My solo stream. You should. You should totally live stream. 
Um, Twitch, it is really good platform. It takes a lot of work. Um, and the cool thing about it is that you can reach people that are not on your following. But the thing with it is that it just, it requires a lot of attention and a lot of setup and stuff. It is achievable. It's just, you got to be dedicated. An author is writing and he has an agent. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. And are, are you going to be using the actual illustrations from Inktober or will you recreate some of the illustrations? My daughter's name is MJ and she calls Smiley. Well, hi, MJ. We have two MJs here. Um, yes. Hello to you, too. I did not know your daughter's name was MJ. That's awesome. Fantasy art will do. Yeah. Support and learn from my favorite fellow artists, and I'm learning every day and bursting with positivity from all possibilities. That's awesome. Help that artist community, man. Yeah. I think it's great. I love it when artists are able to, like, connect with other artists and stuff. It's kind of why I want to do more live streaming here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about just little things, anywhere from, like, how to draw people to how to draw things. And I thought it'd be really cool to start doing live streaming to kind of help with that. And this way I can actually show by example instead of trying to talk it through. So I'm hoping to that by doing Thursday live streams that's kind of what will come of it. Ursa, how are you? <laughs> I need to learn how to draw now. <laughs> what are you talking about? I did not know that you'd only been drawing for a couple of years, Jason, until I listened to that podcast. That was, that was incredible. Less than a couple of years. Hey, Shanna, how are you? Yeah, sure thing, right? I'm always here. Instagram is my primary, my primary, um, what do you call it? Platform, there we go. I will probably try to get back into Twitch again someday, but I also kind of just, there's a different feel with the Instagram live streams too. I'm doing good, thanks. Um, hold on, I think I missed a comment do a sheet of like your character art style I've seen a lot lately where they do a simple version and the of the lip style and the eye style stuff like that yeah I thought about that I just I feel like if anything it would help me be able to branch out because I feel like I have a formula for a lot of things which is easy to happen that's easy to do can you update us on your store you sold out immediately um no actually I still have stuff on my store um I I do have stickers available there, and I actually have Inktober stickers, like a couple of the favorites from this year's Inktober. Um, they're still available in the shop right now. Uh, my notebooks sold out, which I will be stocking some more soon. Um, I'm having to balance making new ones with uh, my current deadlines right now. So it is a juggling process, but it works. But thank you for asking. I picked up some cool tricks from your live streams. They're really helpful and fun. Oh, good. I'm glad. That's kind of what I hope to achieve here. I'm trying to learn the new ways of getting my work seen and algorithms changed on Insta. Um, I would definitely be careful if you if, uh, about trying certain things just because I've heard that when people try and break the algorithm in a way, they can get their accounts banned. Um, yeah, it's a it's just a steady growth, honestly. I would just focus on steady growth. Um, my following is bigger for me than it ever has been, even though it's not a lot. I feel super connected with everybody on my following, and that's invaluable. So I really appreciate it. I feel so out of the norm without art snacks time. I know, right? <laughs> it's like after snacks from the beginning. Although I do have to keep a timer out because if I'm not watching the clock, by the time an hour hits, um, it will have booted me off. So I have to remember um, <laughs> to keep an eye on that clock. So yeah, it is definitely weird not having a timer though. <laughs> hey, Justin, how are you? Giddy! Oh, welcome! I haven't seen you in a while. Any tips on how to get your, your uh, scene so often or anything like that like using certain hashtags or certain 
time posting. Oh, getting your stuff seen. Um, Instagram quality over quantity. I'm an admin Tris. <laughs> hey, Nikki, how are you? Andy, you made it. Oh, guys, there's so many people here. Um, for, for hang, like, as far as like getting your stuff seen, um, hashtags definitely help. And I think, hmm, I think it's just engaging with the community. It's, I, there really isn't a fast answer. My community, like my following has grown over the years because I've just like, I've been a part of Art Snacks and their community. I was doing uh, a, a artist trading card community for a little while. And sometimes just posting things on the, the hashtag, it, yeah, this way you're reaching to like audiences, you know? Susan, Sue and the kids are in Spokane now. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. You guys are going to be so close. I haven't seen you guys in forever. That's right, because you guys are in a moving process. Hey, Nikki, how are you? It's so super awesome that you popped into my stream tonight. Thank you for that. I feel like I'm stuck on the same hashtags on every post. Um, it a lot of a lot of things with hashtags. It it tends to be the same. There's it's not like there's a bunch of new ones out there. It's just hashtags. I I post a lot of the same ones. I try to post things that are relevant. Like the one I just posted was D and D related, so I like amped up the D and D hashtags on there. So yeah. Oh, Jason. <laughs> Thanks. You're sweet. We're just doing line art tonight. But there's something really therapeutic. And then whenever you can go back into your book and then it's like, you know, you can go back into your book and you can color it. It's kind of like your own coloring book. It's super awesome. Thanks, Nikki. That means a lot. <laughs> I know I definitely have a heart. I don't, I don't like how the algorithms work, but at the same time, it's like, uh, it just, it's going to be there. Oh, thank you. Well, I mean, feel free to grab, um, grab a pen and draw along. Um, all this is self-taught over a series of years. So it's, I, I get a lot of questions about art and like illustrations and stuff and like drawing people in particular so if you have if you, if you ever have questions just let me know I'm actually hoping to start doing this Thursday live streaming as a regular thing because I'm getting a lot of questions um and hopefully letting this kind of be an area where we can like talk and learn and ask questions and get answers and just kind of learn from each other you know I don't think anyone likes the way IG is doing things lately I try not to think about it. I'm like, it, it kind of distracts from just making art. And if I think about art too much in a business sense, it kind of loosens a flair and I have to remember to try and, and remember to make art, the art that I like. And as long as you're doing that, you don't really feel robbed. But yes, it is, it is hard with how Instagram does things, but it's okay. We keep, we keep moving on. <laughs> <laughs> with struggling artists Jason I think you're fine I think you're totally fine <laughs> do I normally sketch off stream and line work and color for on stream you know um, it used to be that way I used to be really terrified of sketching live but uh, last year sometime last year I broke that habit um, so I can sketch this is just one I had available and I usually only have time on stream for either just sketching or just line work or just coloring because it's only for an hour. In the future, I might do more than one hour, but um, for tonight, I only have it in me for one hour because it's a long work day. But yeah. <laughs> Time for my line art. Yes. Line art's like very, very therapeutic. I do the same thing like Find, like flipping through and having unfinished work, it's easy to then be like, I need to do something on a live stream. Oh, hey, let's do this. Let's finish this one. Kind of helps with getting your projects done too, you know? Have I tried any digital mediums like iPad pencil combo? Um, I do have a tablet. I used to do a lot of digital work. Uh, not so much anymore. It's mainly just photo editing stuff now. But um, 
maybe one day at this particular moment I don't have time to relearn how to do that but one day because there are benefits to it yeah Instagram only does one hour live streams but I mean that's fine you just hit the live button again and just carry on and they they also disappear after 24 hours uh twitch they last for like a week or something something like that i was in the store the other day and this dad wouldn't let his little girl get microns and said the sharpies are better and it was a waste of money and she started crying and i stood there so sad oh gosh no i feel you because i mean sharpies are great for a certain thing but yeah microns are where it's at yo holy smokes well, I meant to use a zebra pen, but that didn't work out. After your suggestions at the meetup of supplies, I grabbed that green Higgins ink. Not sure if you remember looking us looking for the ink. Of course I remember. I started using it, hashtag the, hashtagging them, and you know uh, what happened. But their pump markers are amazing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. The, the Higgins one? Yeah, their pump markers are pretty awesome. Hey, refrigerator art, how are you? I've yet to do a live stream on Insta, but plan to very soon. You should do it, Grind. Do it. That's, honestly, that's how I started. I didn't think I could do live streaming, and uh, I started with Instagram, and it really, really helped. Helped me open up a lot more. Some of this line work was done, or the sketching work was done a little while ago, so I'm having to, like, re-remember what I was doing here. So, if I'm hunting for lines, or if it seems like I'm hunting for lines, that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, they're refillable. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Hey, Zelo, How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back, Shanae. Oh, thank you, Farah. I didn't have... Uh, I didn't know that was something that I had until I started doing live streaming. Um, and Art Snacks approached me about it. So... Um, but it's cool. And I like, I like being able to talk with other artists. And... Again, I'm a self-taught artist, so for me, I'm, I just, I didn't have access to the internet or, or, you know, communities or stuff to be able to learn. And now it's so, so easy. And I try and share that with people when I can. I love this character. I don't know if I've seen a profile of her. She's new. I just, I'm obsessed with fawns. I just, that's like the new thing instead of fairies and mermaids. It's like fawns. Um... So this particular character is is new. However, um, I'm gonna zoom out really quick. So this character is new. I drew her nearing the end of October. One month ago prior, this was what I was working on. And so I can keep this as a as a, like resemblance so you can see the fluidity of the difference in a month of October and what it can do. So it's pretty exciting. Thank you, Zelo. All right, there we go. Microns are awesome and somehow better than Copic fineliners. Copic fineliners are good for resisting with Copics. Microns can, they can bleed after a little bit too much work with Copics. Um, but the Copic fineliners, I mean, they, they don't, they, they withstand Copics, obviously. Um, but I feel like they dry out really fast. So I don't use them unless I'm working with Copics specifically. Fawns need friends. <laughs> I love that. I feel like that needs to be a picture. That's awesome. Inktober definitely has a huge impact if you stick with it. It does. Holy smokes. This is my third year doing Inktober and I love it. Every year I love it so much. Plus at the end, if you put your, your pieces in a, if you like keep them in a single sketchbook, it kind of feels like trophies at the end of the month. It's like, this is my trophy. And they can just kind of like showcase together on your shelf. It's pretty cool. Mine are in a drawer in the garage right now, but that's fine. This must be so therapeutic. Oh gosh, this is super therapeutic. I, well, for me it is anyways. I really like it. Um, I think I'm actually going to switch my pens. Um, I'm going to use the Zebra uh, Fine Tip Brush or brush tip marker because I want to cover some more broad strokes. Whoops. Um, let's see. When did you pink, peak on Inktober? For me, it was week three. I do not know, actually. It was all a blur. <laughs> My local art store has been out of the Micron pens lately. 
my main preference and it's so aggravating. Oh no. At that point I would honestly, um, well now definitely check the art snack shop because they've got a 30% off sale going on for this month. But if they don't have the microns you need, um, just Amazon it. I have so much fun from art snacks in two years. Storage is getting tough along with organization. I know, right? I turned all mine into artist trading cards and are going to various homes, though I have not had time to post them all. Oh my gosh, that's impressive. Good job. And um, there's my cat. Okay, this is like super wet, so I have to remember not to let rest my hand there. We love Art Snacks promo. Oh yes, oh yes. I ordered some stuff from there already and hoping to do more. This pen is really great. It's just really juicy and it's got me really nervous. So we're gonna change that real quick to a different zebra pen. Oops, I'm gonna go with the double-ended one. I'm working on a 24 by 36 dragon painting at the moment. Ooh, that's awesome. I haven't done a painting, like a canvas painting in a long time. All right, it's not as juicy or as dark, I don't think, but it'll work. Uh, I feel like my Hermie I'm designing a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas card looks like Link from Zelda. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. If the camera is shaking, guys, I'm super sorry. Comments are running a little faster than I can keep up, uh, so I'm scrolling backwards to read them before they disappear. Do I have a webcomic yet? If not, seriously recommend, recommend one, a lack of steampunk or even pirate steampunk. I do not have a webcomic. Um, that is something to do in the future. However, um, I do have plans for my own children's book uh, coming up in the next year. And by that, I just mean like I haven't begun work on it. I have the idea, but I'm currently illustrating a children's book right now that is eating my time. So, um, after that's done, I have some I have some new things in works in the works. Hey, magnetic panda herd, that's an amazing name. I love it. <laughs> Visual smoking. How are you? Thanks for popping in, you guys. There we go. I feel like my vines have like no rhyme or reason to them. They're just swirls and they can get lost in the line art pretty easy. I children's book year 19, 20, 2019, 2022 myself, uh, you and like six other people I know are working on some, Oh, Oh, publishing children's books. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This one's actually, um, talk to me on picture books. Lord, I learned a lot from a Disney contact. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, so I'm actually winging it right now. Um, a friend approached me. Um, she wrote a story and she needed an illustrator and she's been wanting to work with me for a while. And so it's her story that I'm working on right now, but it's been, it's been getting, it's good practice for me, um, to know the steps that go into it and whatnot. Um, I'm really surprised that, Jason, I'm really surprised that um, you're going to have to redraw it because I feel like your Inktober pieces were so good. Your foot is asleep. Oh, gosh. I know what that feeling feels like all too well. That's no fun. Sounds awesome. I'm writing the book, then editing, and then all illustrating one or two things per chapter. Ooh, that's awesome. So you're writing a chapter book. You're a writer. That's amazing. I, that's, that's something I definitely envy because I just, words don't, I'm not the greatest with words. <laughs> Children's book should be okay. I, I say that now, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, but writing books, man, that's amazing. I got mad respect for people who can do that. Kiona, how are you? So glad you could make it. Hey, how's your night going? I always get, I feel like every time I do these areas, they always get ruined somehow. The line work gets ruined. I at least expect it. 
Jason or anyone, can you recall a book series years ago that read and the illustrations were one story but were a different thing altogether if upside down? I have, I too have a friend who has asked me. The only thing I can think of was Hugo. Hugo, I don't even know if, I didn't read it so I didn't know. I just know it was a heavily illustrated like beefy children's book but it was written more like a chapter book but there was like a lot of illustrations so that's the only thing I can think of it was a very strange parrot parrot mm, where the four to six age demo should look rough gruffalo gruffalo sounds just like a really fun word <laughs> waiting for Jason's book yes Yes, especially because we like watched it, you know, during all of Inktober. It's like we need a piece of that history in our shelves. Yes, yes, please. To illustrate hairs in that style would lend itself perfectly to the story, but you can't remember the name of the books. Huh. I don't know if I know these books. That's interesting. It sounds amazing, though. All right, moving on. I always do this. I always, I'm right-handed and I always work on this side first and then go that, go to that side and it's just never a good idea. All right. So, and we're doing good time-wise. Awesome. Uh, I'm just working on this sketch. Um, I found, I, I did this like nearing the end of Inktober and this was done like right before Inktober, Inktober started. So I'm kind of, I like the comparisons of it. And I just found it and decided that I want to work on this. So we're just gonna do this for today. But I'm hoping to make Thursday live streams a regular thing, so. We'll see, every time I say I, I'm going to, it's like it backfires on me. So I'm just starting off with, I want to. Let's try it, Let's go. let's aim for it. Let me rephrase. Bad drawings are better for kids. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like I feel like it's really hard to find bad drawings. Um, if you're talking about like bad art. Wait, is that a diss on your own artwork? Jason, that's not allowed. You leave that behavior at the door. That's not allowed here. Hey, Imasu. Did I pronounce that right? I hope I did. Welcome. Foliage, guys. Foliage is one of my favorite things. I'm the same way about streams and other things. I end up having something happen and then I stop. I, I keep pushing on. I usually, I in every single drawing, I almost have something that goes wrong, but I keep going to the end. Where the wild things are is timeless because a great children's book appeals to the adult reader. Think Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> oh gosh I feel like there are times and places for both and I mean to be fair I am that person that would buy children's books just because I think the art looks pretty I want to finish my art snacks and 20 sketch but I have to start baking that's okay because your art snacks and 20 sketch will still be there it will still be there Not a not a knock. The better the line work. Kiddos don't see it. They vibe on rough sketches. Other high over high fidel fidel. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. I don't know why I can't English well tonight, guys. I can English. I swear. Hello, Kita, I see you. My cat's over in the corner, begging for attention. Kids really look at that much detail? I mean, I did. I was one of those people that looked at all the detail. It's our time. That's true. That's true. Hmm. 
Kira. She's got so much to say. They like concepts, not art. <laughs> I think that they like both. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they like both. But maybe I'm wrong. I just remember as a kid always liking the art. Although I will say, you know, like the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. I grew up off that book. And there's there's an element to that that does kind of give like that imperfect sketchy vibe in a way. So that that is true. An average. <laughs> eh. I paid attention to a lot of detail though. So I don't know if I'd call that brilliance. Observant maybe. But But no, I guess I do see that I do see what you're saying. Um just kind of the the roughness of art and the sketches and concepts and stuff. I know whenever I was learning how to draw, that's what I wanted. I wanted nothing more than like Disney concept sketches. That's all I wanted. Um, because I wanted to study the line work. Um, I didn't really have access to that as a kid, but I think I probably would have, would have enjoyed them too. I was sketching a pic of my sister while I sat here at Raiden's soccer practice and I started raining. Spec sketchbook closed. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Hey, if you get watercolor, you could do watercolor in the rain. You could paint in the rain that way. I'm not serious, but part of me has always wanted to paint in the rain. Like watercolor or something. Art has always been very distinct, which is a feature in itself. Hope your game can catch up in 2020. Oh, the family. The family can catch up in 2020. That makes more sense. Yes, I hope so too. We don't live that far away anymore. That'd be awesome. Water soluble nature. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hey, Chibi Dwarf. How are you? Thanks for stopping in. I would love effect of the organ organicness. <laughs> oh. Water soluble nature. I love that. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad you draw too. Cool. No, we are working on just art right now, so feel free to grab a sketchbook and sketch. But it's my Plumchester book! The last page! The last page! Oh my gosh. I'm surprised you have service out at a soccer field. Is it at a soccer field? It must be if you're outside in the rain. Not so good for watercolor. Yeah, I love Plumchester. Um, while it's not the greatest for watercolor, it is really good for Copics. Um, in my experience, I have a really hard time finding sketchbooks that are... I pretty much don't use Copics unless it's in a Copic-specific sketchbook or a Plumchester. I've always wondered about Breeze Water Love and Micron. <laughs> I think it was on a, an Art Snacks and 20 stream and somebody had said, was like, you always add water to every piece you make. I'm like, yeah, it's true. Because I I categorize myself as a water media artist, not as so much a watercolor artist, because I add water to everything. That and white. I add white gel pen to everything, too. She's in her basement in a soccer game, obviously in the rain. I mean, if you can have rain in a basement, that's pretty epic. I mean... I'd like to visit that, 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 that basement. Canada is a very accommodating place. <laughs> oh, I've only been to Canada once. I need to go back. Plumchester and Copic. Thankful. Thankfully work. Yes. 
I do appreciate how well Copics and Plumchesters work together. All right, and now I'm just going through and thickening out these lines. This, um, this is actually just a random character I drew. I had to soak my feet and uh, I was bored, so I brought this with me and I just sketched it in like 15 minutes. So she doesn't have a name, but um, it's still fun to draw her. I think I have like, like three, a couple, like at least two more fawns at like previous to this page. One is a finished line work and I, I need to scan it before I color it. And then um, one I haven't worked on. One's a one's a fawn that's inspired by a gazelle, which is pretty cool. Leaky pipes. Fifteen minutes. Wow. Thanks, Jason. Thank you for helping remind me to watch the clock. And I probably need to go grab uh, my micron again, but. Add some finer details. We have all the basics out. I want to get some detail lines in there. I never have time for detail lines. In fact, we're just going to do detail lines and I'm going to thicken the rest out later, I think. Earlier, I'm watching the clock. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the clock. It's hard because I'm like trying to make sure I'm, I'm catching everybody's comments. And then I get so just like, I'm so involved and so interactive and then all of a sudden it's all gone because I wasn't watching the clock. Hmm. You use just pencil on yours? That's talent. I, pencil and I, we acknowledge each other for the time that I need to sketch and that's about it. Other than that, I don't really work in pencil. So I admire people that can that have the patience for it because it's it's a medium that requires patience. No, that you sketched it in only fifteen minutes. Oh, oh. Well, actually, you're not you're not far. I think it was like twenty minutes on Instagram. Um, I have twenty minutes left on this live stream, and then it'll boot me off. But yes, this took about fifteen minutes. I think it doesn't take fifteen minutes to line it, but it's. 15 minutes. Hey, crazy Irish kitty. How are you? Dancer! Welcome! We're just doing line work tonight. Maybe I should go back to thicker and thinner. Because otherwise I'm just going to try to do it with this one. All right. I'm at least going to thick and thin the hair out. Finish that part. And then I'll go back to detailing it. <sighs> Line work can be so finicky sometimes. Hey, watercolor Bambi. How are you? I was at a, at a seminar last Friday and finished inking. Then all I had was my bottle of iced tea, so I used a bit of iced tea in the inverted cap, so my hot fruit dragon was sticky sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Instagram time is off. Uh, no, he, he said 15 minutes um, because I forgot that I had said that this took me 15 minutes to sketch, and uh, he wasn't far off from the Instagram time, but it was more like 20 minutes left on stream instead of 15. Kate Disney, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. I've been doing fan art of Pokemon because the new Pokemon is coming out tomorrow. That's right. I think I heard something about that. I don't keep up with Pokemon very much, but I ha I do hear about it. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. Sorry for this shakiness. So humor me because I'm an advertising man. Would you sell your live stream work? Because you should. Um, I definitely wouldn't mind doing live stream. Um paid live streams. I think that was the initial goal with starting Twitch was to hopefully move into a place where I could accumulate an income. Um, since I do art full time now guys, but, um, Twitch was just too much. Um, 
so it, it was just too much main like maintenance and too much commitment that I didn't have time to give. So Instagram unfortunately doesn't pay the bills, but it does connect with you guys, and I think that's one more my priority is. But yes, long story short, I would I would so, like stream um, if I was getting paid for it. Uh, <laughs> I know it's been busy and being sick last week didn't hurt. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope you're feeling better. Having an art, an awesome artist block right now. Oh man, I'm sorry. I usually try and go for like a prompt or something. Let's see. Or help. Help with, with busyness is good. Hang on. Sorry for this shaky camera, guys. Loving this picture. Just chopped all my long hair off. New beginnings. Art can be so powerful. Yay for new beginnings! Still excited to see you try the gilding? Gilding? Hmm. I feel like that's referencing something and I feel like I'm blanking on, on it. When you go pens down in five minutes. Uh, oh, okay. I think I get where you're coming from. I have a Twitch, but I haven't posted anything yet. I think I did it. I got... I had a test stream, which I don't really count that stream. And then I had one designated, like, scheduled live stream. And I haven't been back since. But it's still there. My channel's still there. The fowls... It, Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, the foils. The foils. That's it. Yes. I actually, I have those and I'm like, now that Inktober is done, I'm like ready to start practicing with them. Let's see. I'm feeling much better and we'll sketch journaling my trip home for my parents' 50th anniversary. Awesome. Do I have an Etsy shop? Uh, I do not have an Etsy shop, but I have my own online store now. It's dreadpiratebree.com and I have stickers in there, including some from this Inktober. And soon we'll be filling the shop with some of my handmade sketchbooks. So, yeah. I decided not to go with Etsy, that I wanted to control it myself. So if I saw you draw for one hour and saw it live, I would buy what you made. Oh, oh, selling. Oh, I getcha, gotcha. That is a possibility at some point. Not this one, because it's like, it's in my, my, my book. But that is something I've been thinking about if people are even interested in it. So if there are people that are interested in it, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Hey, Michelle. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. A couple comments ran away from me. Kept auto-correcting me over and over. That's annoying. Um, send you a few drafts of my book, Brie, whenever I meet my new, my next deadline. Oh, cool. I will say that I have a hard time finding time to read, but, um, you're more than welcome to. I may not get around to being able to read it. I'm a very, very slow reader, but I definitely would love to take a look at it. I love art too. <laughs> You'd buy this now? It's not even done yet. It's like, I still have to finish inking, which I'm not going to be able to get to tonight. I'll probably have to pick this up next week. And then I got to color it. But uh, I will keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind. What's my favorite movie? Labyrinth from 1986. Hands down. Uh, let's see. So much nicer than the triple speed videos. I have never made one of those. I've thought about it, but haven't been inspired for them. So that is a compliment. Thank you. Uh, did I sub to Disney? I do. I do use audiobooks sometimes um lately I haven't had any time for that either um did I submit to Disney uh no I thought about it I think it used to be a dream but I kind of want to do my own thing and Disney Disney's got a lot they have their hands in a lot of stuff I'm like yeah they're good they're good the flow going on this artwork thank you um, for those that have popped on recently and didn't know, this is a piece that I did towards the end of Inktober, and then this one was the one done right before Inktober started. So this is just kind of a comparison of the two to see what Inktober does to your style. Um, I'm astounded how you're able to read all these comments and reply and draw. <laughs> 
the ADHD, the ADHD in me is so <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> I love what you did there, Andy. Oh, Disney is hard to get into. I actually had a, I have a friend who he got an interview at Disney for costume design because he is amazing. Special, like he makes these plush dolls, or he used to from scratch. He's made like three of my original characters into plush dolls. He's super talented. Let's chat offline, seeing the process and commenting, then owning. That's, that's my, I mean, that's true. Yeah. Let's chat afterwards. We'll talk about that for sure. I did not. I have a lot of people on my Instagram though, and I've been working all day. So haven't had a chance to check the Instagram. Sorry. Multitasking. Again, this is one of those things I didn't know was a thing. I didn't know this was like a thing you could acquire um, as like a skill until people said like you're drawing and talking and reading all at the same time. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Hey, Slippery Prickles. Disney streaming service. Um, oh, oh, did I sign up with that? No, I haven't. Um... I think I just heard about it yesterday. I didn't even know there was a Disney streaming service until yesterday. My friends were talking about it. So that's pretty cool. Advertise, not rabbit drawings. <laughs> Sounds good. I got like four minutes and then I'll have to clock off. But that's okay because I would really like to do this next Thursday. I'm figured out a day that works for me during the week and I want to commit to this as much as I do art snacks in 20 so yeah and Jason we'll talk we'll talk about your idea what has been said about Disney otherwise is true <laughs> yes yes it is very true what would you recommend for someone struggling with ideas of what to draw I say take the pressure off of yourself and draw things that you know you like like when I don't know what to draw one of my biggest go-tos is mermaids because of the fluidity of it. And it's just easy to draw the movement. I don't have to worry about gravity. <laughs> um, and that can kind of like at least warm it up. Uh, I think I missed a comment. What ultimately inspires your drawings? Um, I get inspired by a lot of fantasy. And I, I love movement and dancing. And I like to try and create a feel with expression or body language. I'm glad you like watching Art Snacks in 20. I love doing Art Snacks in 20. It's super great. What does that send request to be in the, in the video mean? Uh, because there is an option for dual streaming. So you, I've done it a couple times with um, some, I did, actually did it with Jason one time. Um, we did a dual live stream together. Um, I started a live stream and he hit the request button and I approved it and he was able to sh like share the screen with me. Um, yeah, that's an option that's available. Um, yeah. Pressure is for tires? Oh man, there is some good stuff on and I ran a documentary about the Imagineers while doing an abstract watercolor piece. Nice. No, money is not everything. <laughs> no worries. Thanks. Thanks, Jason. Only a few minutes, I know. I have two minutes. I have two minutes. I try to give myself like a five minute, you know, ahead. This way I can, if there's any last minute comments as I'm getting off, then I can, I can answer them. And better to safe them. Like better safe than sorry. Yeah. So for those that are here, do you want to see the finished product next week? Like, do you want me to save this and work on it next week? Or you want to see something different next week? It does not matter to me either way. I just, if this is something that people want to see out to the end, then I will wait and save it. Otherwise, it'll just be something I do in my spare time. Exactly. There's no such thing as bad art. Happy Thanksgiving. Keep on this. Yes, please. Yes, please. This. Okay, cool. We have enough votes for this to be continued. So cool. I have something to work on. Realistically, oh shoot. I think next week, is next week Thanksgiving? If it is, there probably is not going to be a live stream, but I'll still save it. Um, 
for the next live stream. Keep going on this. We can join you on the journey. I want this for sale in 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. Unless you feel like it, you'll lose the vibe. I mean, this is this is pretty this is pretty therapeutic. I don't feel like line art is is really difficult. And I can always break from something and come back to it. It's in oh, it's in two weeks. Okay, good. Okay, good. Cool. I kind of see this fin being finished out in two more streams, if that's the case, because there's more line art that needs to get done with this. And, um, or I could just finish the, li the line art and just paint it next time. Thanksgiving's in two weeks. Bernie! You're catching me at the very tail end, dude. My live stream's gonna boot me off any second, but there will be a replay. But it's good to see you. Oh, Nikki, thank you. I'm glad. I've heard that comment more than once when it comes to line work, and I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glad that it is. Line work is very therapeutic to do, at least for me anyways. So that's awesome. Thanks. Take a pic of it, just the line art, and then compare the go on piece. I love the line art. Okay. Uh, I do not watch Ponyo of the final piece. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. We can do that. Definitely going to watch it from the beginning. Thanks, dude. Off to get dinner. Hey, have a good night, Andy. Is this live going to be a regular thing? Because I'm about to put it in my calendar. Um, Thursdays. Thursdays. The time will vary depending on the day. Um, but I'm going to kind of do what I do with Art Snacks in 20 and post what generally what time it will be the day before. So on Wednesday, check my stories and you'll find out when the live stream will be active on Thursday. And that's just so I can keep it consistent with my calendar. Um, ooh, there might be a couple Thursdays in December that I won't be live streaming because I'll actually be teaching my first class. So that's going to be exciting. Um, but I might be able to, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So, but yes, Thursdays, Thursdays are dread pirate restreaming days on that note, guys, I have a couple minutes left, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So this is what we got in one hour. Yep, there's my two-minute timer. This is what we got in one hour. And uh, I forget what some, what, I don't, it wasn't clear what was, what was said, if I should finish the line art and then come back to painting it, or if you guys want me to finish it on stream next time. Either way, message me of what you, what you want to see, and um, I'll go with the majority votes. But this was a lot of fun, and I've missed you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out and talking. This was really great. Kind of like visiting a fun coffee shop, right? Okay, guys, have a good one. I will see you next time. Let's name her really quick. Okay, we have a minute and 19 seconds. What are we going to name her? What are we going to name her? I got suggestions going out now. <laughs> I will buy this. <laughs> Have a good night. We'll talk, Jason. We'll talk afterwards. Narkisa? Narquis Dawn Tulip. Laria. Ooh, that's a really, that's a unique one. Fonsum. <laughs> Eularia Dawn Fonsum. How about that? Eularia Dawn Fonsum. <laughs> because I can't pick. Hang on, I'm going to write the Eularia. Eularia Dawn is actually pretty cool. Dawn Fonsum. Okay. Okay. I got a name. Thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you later, okay? We'll see you next week. <laughs> Eularia Dawn Fonsum. Yes. Okay. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye.